Hello Cyberspace, my name is Paradox, and welcome to Don't Die Alone. My last upload was technically supposed to be the end of my, like, Halloween week of horror thing, but I needed a quicker video for this weekend, so we're doing another one. Hey look, extend on the spooks, put in a jump scare. I don't know anything about this one, it looked cool from what I remember. It is a visual novel, so that's something new. Something that we haven't done before, I think. Is this us? Oh god, there's a lot of text, alright. Kind of hoping I'll be able to get a ride home, because right now my brother's picking me up, and that's embarrassing. That'd probably be safer, though. BRB, alright, I'm back. You keep having to leave, Lameo. Is it crazy over there? I haven't heard my parents open the door as much as last Halloween. Yeah, there's been a lot of kids out this year, but that's okay, because I love giving out sweets. So I'm the, I'm the green. And then this is my friend. Hi, I'm Chelsea. I'm 16. My favorite way to pass the time is reading. Yes, I'm a geek, so what? And I love styling hair. Best friends. Emily is here. That's a good one. Then I assume this is my profile. Hi, I'm Petra. I'm a senior carer, age 17. Favorite movie genre is horror and romance. I assume you're going to be getting a lot of horror. Someone just walked by the door. I love music. Favorite music genre is indie, emo, pop, electronic, and I love unicorns. Oh, God. A few friends. Oh, I can actually just... Wait a minute. Oh, I can't search things. I only have two friends, huh? Congratulations, your firewall has blocked this page. That's probably for the better. All right, I think that's all the looking around we can... Wait, unless I can... No. Most of the time, at least. Kids are weird. I'm glad I don't have to do that. If I wasn't going out, my parents would have made me, lol. Are you watching the same dude as usual? The same dude? No, Mr. Taylor's staying with his kids tonight. Which is good, because Miss Relish needs me on Halloween. So, that's a really unfortunate name. I'd, I'd make fun of someone called Miss Relish, I'll be real. You really have all the retirement connections. Sometimes I go to bingo night with everyone, and they all argue over who gets what days in my schedule. It's so funny. Taking care of old people, that's respectable. You should get them to fight and record it. <laughs> um, no thanks, lol, anyways. Yeah, I don't think that'd be very entertaining. Just a bunch of old people, like, going at it. Actually, maybe... Maybe that would. Hey, it's Audacity. I know that program. I'm using that program. That's what you're listening to right now. The trick-or-treaters normally make Miss Relish anxious, but she's doing much, much better. Last year, she stayed up till, like, 11, which is friggin' crazy for her. But I already got her asleep, so I'm proud of her. So it's just me, pretty much. Because of all the knocking and doorbelling? Well, yeah, th that and... Her house got toilet papered a few times, and at that age, it really sucks. Especially because her family lives pretty far, so finding someone to clean up isn't easy, you know? So the holiday makes her really anxious. Yeah, that's fucked up. Don't fuck with people on the holidays. Especially on holidays. Don't fuck with people in general. This new pill cures nothing. That's good. Then she must be really thankful for you, lol. Don't you wish you could be out doing stuff, though? I know you're like- I know you like hanging out with old people, but have you ever tried going out with a classmate or something? I like watching scary movies and staying inside anyways. Hey man, I don't- I don't be talking to people either. I- I stay inside and do nothing, so... I relate, kind of. Yeah, me too, except while I'm watching Halloween at a party with my friends. You'll be watching Friday alone and- on a musty grandma couch, Raffle. Nobody uses Raffle. Try going out sometime. You make it sound like it's easy. You you sound like a bitch, Miss Chelsea. I'll be real. Why not start by meeting some people here? Your friends list is really, really, really sad. I remember you had more when you first met. What's up with that? Dude, stop fucking judging me. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? Listen, I'm gonna say it. Hang on. I'll, I recently unfriended a bunch of them because I realized they were all either spam accounts or people that don't talk to me. And we're going to pause there to say, listen, it's fine to not have a lot of friends, all right? If you're going to, you know, like, talk to people, of course. But you don't have to have a giant circle. Just have, like, one or two really good friends. That's all you need. You know, and that's that's what I got. I mean, I've got, like, two good friends. Well, I've got, I got two friends. One of them's... She's kind of a bitch. Well, there's your first mistake. Those are free friends down the drain. 
OMG, that's stupid. That's a really dumb way to look at friends. That's a very 16-year-old thing to say, though, so I guess I get it. Oh, hey, wait, I'm not the only one in your friends list anymore. Are they a spam account? Oh, no, not Casper. So this is Casper, then. Ultra Skater. How many friends does she have? Can I judge you for your amount of friends? That's way too many friends. You're not friends with 527 people. That's a lie. That's Mr. Taylor's nephew. He brought something over one time, and it turned out we both had... Basti, lol. That's the program. What a corny ass name for a program. Someone just rang a bell. Do you ask everyone you meet if they have Basti? Oh shoot. I'm not gonna do a voice for her. She's me. She's gonna sound like a man. <coughs> BRB. Hey grandma. Maybe I'll do a voice. Hang on, let me see if I can get one. Let me see if I can get like an emo 17 year old girl voice. That sounds creepy. Don't clip that. Don't leave that. Hey, Grandma. Are you doing okay? Yes, I'm alright. So sorry to distract you from your computer games, sweetheart. Could you be a dear and close the window for me, please? Of course. Don't worry, Grandma. I'm staying up late anyways, so you don't have to feel bad about waking me up or anything. And even if I was asleep, I'm here to help you, so you can wake me up whenever you need. I know, Petra. It's a bit chilly in here, isn't it, Grandma? No, I like the cold. A woman after my own heart. Oh? It's the crickets making so much noise. I can't fall asleep with the chirping. Oh, the crickets. Well, that shouldn't be a problem anymore. Quiet crickets. They keep whispering to me. Okay. But it stopped now. Oh, Grandma, you're so silly. Ah ha ha. Uh. Now oh, someone's here. Trick or treaters. Ring me again if you need anything else, okay? Actually, I think I might have left the computer on. Could you turn it off for me, dear? I didn't like the scary email. Scary email? Uh, yeah, Grandma. I'll do that right after this. Good night, Miss Relish. I don't trust her. But she likes the cold, so I trust her a little more. Also, why is it keeping me here? Aren't I supposed to be follow- Well, did something happen? I looked away for like a split second and it looked like someone popped in the window. Trick or treat. Oh, um, goodness, I love your costumes. A firefighter and an American football player. It's an American football zombie. Zombie American football player. Your cost your costume's pretty cool, too. Uh huh, thank you. Here you little guys go. Happy Halloween. They have only raisins. Oh, she's giving away raisins. I thought her bag was just full of raisins. Hey, I like raisins. She's not happy about it, though. Raisins? Chocolate raisins. Don't be ungrateful. Raisins slap. Chocolate raisins slap, too. Oh, Jesus. I didn't get a chance to read any of that, except for read this if you want to live, so... I was wondering when that would happen, lol. I'm back. That I am. More trick-or-treaters? I thought she got to sleep, but she wasn't. The crickets were really loud, so I closed her window. Riveting. Oh, and yeah, some trick-or-treaters came by and thought I was wearing a costume, lol. I knew it wasn't a costume. See, kids are dumb. Imagine being so old that you can't even get up and close a window, lol. Alright, listen. I don't like you, Chelsea. Lol as in not laughing at her, but like laughing at imagining us as old. Whatever, being old sucks. That's why we have to help them. I'm pretty sure a lot of the time, I'm the only one to see her. Her kids and grandkids don't even call her. That's probably how it'll be when I'm old. <laughs> if I'm old. What if I don't age? I'm some mythical being that just doesn't get age. 
that's not true. Also, this place takes place in 2006. I just noticed that, which is very befitting of what's happening. Okay, okay, I'll call my grandma. I'm not trying to guilt trip you, OMG. I'm just saying it sucks that she had to be lonely like that. At least her kids hired me to care for her. So her kids don't call her, but she hired they hired a sitter for her? That's suspicious. I don't trust the grandma. I think there's something up with her. If I could care for everyone's grandmas and granddads, I would. That's noble? Yeah. That's it? That's all you have to say? So when are you going to that party? My friend should be here in like 10 minutes. I'll tell you how it goes with Mevin. I'm sure it'll go great for you. Mevin is a terrible name. Like, just name him Kevin. Okay, Petra? I want you to do something. What? I swear to God, if she asks me to use the fi friend finder, I'm shooting her. Go on the friend finder thing. Yep. How'd I know? Go on the friend finder thing on the bestie site and find some profiles you think are cool. Then send them a friend request. That's how I met like 99% of the people on here, lol. Then for extra credit, maybe send a few messages when they accept. I just want to point out that she has 527 friends and that's really sad because I bet you she's talked to like four of those people more than three times. Anyway, saying what? It's not a problem to not have a lot of friends. Hi, I saw your profile and thought you seemed cool. That's corny as hell. You gotta open up and send him something like this. Me and I didn't put a meme on screen. Put a meme on screen that you would send somebody instead of sending that message to say hi. I don't know, maybe that's a little too forward for a first message. You'd want to be less generic too. I'll iron out the details with you later once I'm back home. The friend finder doesn't even work for me, and that's a blessing. Are you trying to friend only popular accounts or something? No, I mean, like, the page literally doesn't load most of the time, lol. Oh. You have to turn off your antivirus and get a virus that's gonna somehow kill you. Yeah, it does that to me too. It, I guess it's a little wonky. I don't trust it. Just try it every once in a while. It loads sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. I really don't care about not having a bajillion friends, Chelsea. Real. When I go to uni, I'll make friends there anyways. That's what I said too, and, uh... Don't bet on it, but it's not a bad thing. All the kids at my current school are lame and mean. I wish all the cool people weren't online. Yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. Maybe one day you can come to the US and we can hang out. Oh, I'm not in the US. Good to know. But for now, you have a world of opportunity at your school. Just don't even give, you just don't even give them a chance. I just want to help you. No, listen, Patrick, you're doing fine. You're doing just great. Just keep doing you. Don't, don't trust, don't trust this one. I guess I could try to friend some people. All right, let's see if that stinking friend finder page will load. I really don't want to, but fine. I got, but watch, it loads now. There it is. Here's some people we think you might like. Is, does it, do I just, do I actually add people? I gotta, gotta add the grandma. Do I just add anyone? Is that how this works? Is this like as open as I thought it would, as I think it is? I mean, listen, where's the grandma? Where is she? Where's the grandma? There she is. Add the grandma. Web internet search, search recipes, search recipes, coleslaw, how to search coleslaw. Want coleslaw search, add link. I can, I can, listen, I can help you get some coleslaw. That's it, I've, I've peaked. Do I have to actually, like, do I have to add someone specific? Is that how this works? I don't like surfer girl. I'll look for people who are online. I'm assuming this is the fill-in for the generic profile picture. If it wasn't, though, that'd be a dope-ass profile picture. Just a stick figure, chillin'. Super mom? Hell yeah. Hey, y'all, name Romania, age 34, job, parent, school, life. I'm a mom of 12 and have gone through five divorces. You know, I changed my mind. I don't, <laughs> I'm good. I don't need all of that. That sounds like a, a nightmare of a friend. Marie Lampert, welcome to my bestie account. Yes, I'm that Marie from YouTube. Still getting used to all this. Check out my account for beyond the YouTuber added. Too many friends, but fuck it. Sakura Bloom. Yeah, why not? Hi, I'm Sakura Bloom, but you can call me Sakura. I love fiction and music. My favorite genre is pop and video game OSTs. Thank you for 100 friends. Yeah, why not? 
Someone's a knocking. Is it Sakura Bloom? Is she just gonna be behind the like you're gonna put the laptop screen down and she's just gonna be there? I love the style of this game, by the way. The like partial pixel art. It looks really, really good. Smiley dog? Hell yeah, man, smiley dog. By looking at my profile picture, you are cursed. I love horror movies. DM me for horror movie discussion. Cursed media, absolutely. We, can we get you to 69? Someone knocking. It, mm, someone was knocking. That's concerning. Friggin' ding-dong ditchers. Just because you don't like raisins doesn't mean other people don't, okay? They're covered in chocolate, too. What else could you want? And leave my window alone. Ding-dong ditching is one thing, but tapping on my window is super-duper creepy. Mean teenagers. You said it. Petra, dear. What's wrong, Grandma? I heard... I heard tapping on the window. Really? Uh, they went to yours too? I think some mean kids are just trying to play a prank on us. Sorry, Grandma. They aren't doing it anymore, are they? No. It stopped a bit ago. It was going on for an awfully long time. I was too scared to move. Oh gosh, do you want me to stay in here with you? Because I really, really wouldn't mind it. I could bring some blankets and pillows from my bed and put them on the floor, and it'd be like a sleepover. Ah ha ha, ha ha. I'm not a child, Petra, dear. It's okay, as long as it stops. If they do it again, I'll freaking call the police or something. I wish people weren't so cruel, targeting a nice old lady like you. They never did that when Eugene was here. <sighs> I can't stand Halloween. Why do people like being scared? I never liked being scared. Never ever. All it does is keep me up later than I want to be. I thought this year was going to be better than last year, but of course not. Grandma, I'll make it up to you tomorrow, okay? I'll take you to the park and we can feed the birds. We haven't done that in a little while, have we? We could even see if Debbie wants to come. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you, dear. Of course, Grandma. Please let me know if they try to mess with you again. Okay? Good night. Good night. I don't trust it. With Miss Relish's bell and the doorbell, I'm just being dragged all over the place tonight, lol. And some kids were tapping on our windows and ding-dong ditching us. Did anyone add me, though? No. Did you spray them with what? Acid. Ah! Oh, I don't know. I didn't even see them. If I did, I would love to. Well, anyways. Do you think I should have actually dressed up as something tonight? Yeah. But as what? Hold on, let me send you a pic of how mine turned out. Oh, Lord. What will she end up being? What is she the the one thing from uh the vampire movie that's funny? OMG. Cute. I knew it would look good. Thanks, the wig looks kinda real. <laughs> Thanks, the wig looks kinda really fake IRL, but whatever. I wonder if anyone will even recognize who I'm meant to be. You never know. I certainly didn't. Even though no one IRL would see it if you could still take even if no one IRL would see it, you could still take some cute pics in your costume if you do one. True. Hey, it's never too late. Maybe I could throw something together with the stuff I brought here. That's the, that's the, that's the, that's the spirit. Oh, hey, he messaged me. I, you know, I don't trust him either. I don't trust anyone. The one kid? If the one kid means Mr. Taylor's nephew, yes. That, that notification stays up for a long ass time. Woo, good for you. What did he say? I'm so sorry. Why? 
Important, don't die alone. Read this. Read this if you want to live. One year on Halloween, a 17-year-old boy named Josh was found dead. Josh wanted to host a party and sent invitations to the whole school. When the party started, no one came. Except that is not true. Three bullies were there. The bullies tied Josh up and poured gasoline on him and set him on fire in his backyard. Jesus. That's bleak. Josh was found burnt alive by his parents the next morning, and the bullies got away with it, and got even more popular. Josh's spirit was so angry that now he comes back and wants the same thing that happened to him to happen to everyone else that knows about him. Um. Is it gonna be one of those, like, send this to three friends? Yep, send this to- yeah, yeah, there it is. If you send this message to 15 other people, Josh will not be able to kill you, and you will be safe. But if you don't, Josh will come to your house in 15 minutes and kill you. The choice is yours. Your time starts now. Send this to at least 15 people within 15 minutes, or you will die. Please listen to the message, dude. It's real. Real. Okay. Message. Let me guess, though. It's one of those, like, it's one of those, but it's actually real in this game. He sent me a chain message. Lol. And a poorly written one at that. And a poorly written until it's real. I really hope this doesn't end with me getting tied up and lit on fire. Get more friends on here and expect a whole lot more of those. Ugh. I hated those chain messages. They were so stupid. Listen, if you're really mad, just imagine his greasy self and his little hidey hole copy pasting the shitty message over and over. It was super duper long, too. He had to split it into, like, four messages because of the character limit, lol. LMFAO, that just adds to the imagery. And I corrected his spelling. It's what he gets. I mean... That's fine, but listen. What's your name, Petra? I got... I got bad news for you, XXX, P3, TR, 4, XXX. This is a horror game. Which means it's probably real. Even though it's really dumb, the people tapping on my window, and now this stupid message really throws me off. What do you mean? Like, I'm not scared, I just feel really on edge, if that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah. Those, like, stupid spam messages would always make you feel on edge if the timing was right. Starting to sympathize even more with Miss Relish. Oh, come on. They're trick or treating. You have to expect some tricks. Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. Anyways, yeah, you can do a ton of things with makeup. For a costume, I mean. When I get back, I want to see some cute pics. I'll send some. Oh boy. You'd probably have more friends if you posted more, so consider this step too, lol. Also, did you try to add anyone? A few people before I got distracted. Let's see who accepted. No one. Oh, everyone. Cool. Martha, can I message Martha and tell her how to get some- Can I- can I send Martha some sick, nasty coleslaw recipes? Petra, it's Halloween night. If they didn't, it's probably because they're out having fun and not watching old ladies struggle to close windows. Yeah, I know. I guess I gotta look. Well, I already looked. Everyone accepted. Like, unfortunately, I can't message any of them. I also can't seem to remember to go to my friends instead of friend finder. Alright. So what do I do now? Well, three... Well, three did. Better than zero. Why does it say requested? Instead of... That's kind of weird. Maybe that guy sent you the chain letter to start up a conversation. I guess it fits today. Well, it didn't work, because turns out spam isn't that appealing of an icebreaker. Yeah, no, spam is not a good icebreaker. Guys are weird like that. OMG. What? Is she going to end up getting covered in gasoline and then on fire? Chelsea... There's something in my closet. Oh, maybe this is like a out of body horror, or not an out of body. Are you hearing something? Where it's like she's the one having horror stuff happen to her, and I'm just watching. Petra, I'm scared. Don't you have cats? Maybe one of them got stuck in there. Eh. 
No, I think this is more than cats. This isn't a cat, you dumbass. It's staring at me. Stop. BRB. Are you trying to mess with me? No, I don't think that's what it is, Patra. This is a horror game after. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Boy. I want to see how far out he's going to go. Is he still moving? No, he's done moving. Petra, look behind you. Petra. Hey, it's right behind you. Petra. You looked at the wrong time. Typical horror game protagonist. Chelsea. Yeah, I was messing with you. Rawful Lamau. Please don't do that. I'm really not feeling it tonight. You're not going to be feeling it tonight when you fucking die at the hands of whatever the hell that thing was. This is literally the most appropriate night to do that. Sorry, I'm just trying to pass the time to my friends to get here, lol. You're kind of a shit friend for that, to be fair. Because I already said I was on edge. And now you're fucking with me. Coming. What's wrong, Grandma? Are those kids tapping on your window again? No, dear. Just, it's really hot. Could you refill my glass of water, please? Of course, Grandma. Oh, hell yeah. Now this is peak gameplay. Oh, I thought it just got dark suddenly. It doesn't feel too hot, but would you like me to reopen the window anyways? No. Please, no. Okay. I don't, I don't trust it. Please let me know if you want to stay in here tonight, okay? Yes, dear. You don't trust it. And like, Miss Relish is kind of making me nervous, too. Yeah, she's making me nervous, too. Why? By the way, answer quick, because I'm going, like, any minute. Okay. And I don't know. Like, last year she was anxious, too, but this is different. She always keeps her window open when she sleeps, but she's scared about that tonight. And it's only 10.30, yet the street's really empty. I guess that's actually weird. What candies are you giving out? Chocolate raisins. There's the answer. Angry. Dude, chocolate raisins slap. And I keep, feel like, I keep feeling like I'm being watched. I swear I saw movement in the corner of my eye earlier, and it really scares me. Yeah, you and me both. They're here, by the way. You should probably stop watching scary movies tonight. Talk to you later. Haven't even watched any scary movies yet. Wait, no. I got a bad feeling about our friend Petra here. Chelsea. She's gone. She ain't texting me back. I'm really freaked out. I need someone to talk to. Yeah, she's she's gone. Please. Aw. Oh gosh. Maybe, maybe I should just go back to adding some people. That's not the solution to this. Trash world. Oh, Tasha's world. Well, I'll add her because her name was funny. International super spy, maybe. I love posting about my recent travel adventures and I love pop music. Yeah, why not? I'm just killing time until the thing kills me, so. Just floating. You, ye... You don't have to friend me. I'm not like other accounts who care about friends. You can decide to friend me or not. I really don't care about friends, so you don't need to friend me. You'll accept the fastest. Tom. Hey, yo. You're either creepy or the coolest dude ever. I'm adding you. Dark mood. If you're a prep or jock, don't look at my page. I'm emo. Darkness deep within my... Wait, hang on. Let me do a voice for this one. If you're a prep or jock, don't look at my page. I'm emo, a darkness deep within my soul that I have to suppress. The only thing keeping me sane is the moon crest. Yeah, I do poetry. This dude's like 14, max. Fangirl, a hunt, nah, dude, car. <laughs> Mechanic, Australian, 64, three kids divorced. I don't trust, I don't trust you. Fangirl, on the other hand, she's a cosplayer, watch. Hello, I'm Fangirl 100, aka Erica Haywood. Also, a pseudonym? A pseudonym. 
I love writing vampire fanfic, so check out my fanfic library profile if you like vampire fanfic to totally friend me we, so we can talk. I guess so. Girl of God, are you actually God? Because I might need you. Just a small town girl in a dangerous world trying to praise Jesus. Just friend me and send me a message so I can spread the word. Nah. We don't need God where I'm going. I'm trying to only add people who are online because I think that's the way to do it. You look like me. Not like me, but like my character in the game. Just your local scene queen. If you're a photographer or even just another person interested in music and style, we should be friends. This is... This screams 2006. Just a second. It's darker in here. Grandma? Did you... Did you turn the light off? Grandma? Miss Relish? She ain't asleep. Don't be like, oh, she's probably just asleep. I'm gonna go call my mom, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, have your mom pick you up, like, as soon as possible. That is a weird-looking thumb. I don't trust this. Oh, mom's not picking up, is she? Hello? Mom, can we maybe please talk for a little bit? I'm really... Sorry, I couldn't get to you. Leave a message after the beep, and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Rough. Told you mom wasn't picking up. I know you and dad are still up. Please freaking answer, because I really want to talk to someone right now. Call me as soon as you listen to this, okay? Love you. Mom's not answering. So did you message it to people? No, please don't send me spam. I really don't want to deal with that right now. I'm having a weird night. I'm serious. Don't waste time. You spelt waste wrong. And don't try to run from it. The only thing that can save you is being at your computer, sending the message. I know how dumb it looks, but it's real. I didn't know who else to send it to. The only other... Grandma, is it serious? I didn't know who else to send... Wait, why can't stop messaging me so quick. I didn't know who else to send it to. The only other options left were my friends. I'm so sorry. Look, check this out. Okay, dude. I... Mm, I really don't want to. You shouldn't trust links sent to you by kind of strangers, but sure, why not? Investigation into teen's death continues. Parents speak out. We know this wasn't an accident. Oh god, this is a lot of reading. Alright, hang on. Let me let me get some water before I read this. In horror situations, always remember to hydrate. We know this wasn't an accident, says Ava Carls, mother of Joshua Carls, who was found deceased in his home early last Tuesday, the day after Halloween. Josh is the sweetest, smartest kid. He'd never do anything dangerous that could lead to such a horrible tragedy, the Minnesota mother said, fighting through tears. The investigation for this case has been widely questioned after police ruled out the possibility of foul play mere days after Joshua's death despite the suspicious circumstances. Joshua's body was burnt and mangled with no source for the fire found at the scene. While the police believe this to be a case of spontaneous human combustion, Joshua's parents and many others aren't so convinced. It's obvious to anyone that knew what Joshua had to deal with at school, they'd never give him a break. Josh wasn't a popular kid and the other students never even gave him a chance. Joshua's mother reminisced over his hopeful spirit. He never wanted to change schools. I think he took it on like a challenge. He wouldn't let them win. In a way, Joshua's death has brought him the positive attention his mother believes he's always deserved. Hashtag friend of Josh has over 100 uses on Twiz as people offer condolences to the deceased teen. I'll always miss you, Josh. Love you forever. Hashtag friend of Josh, writes at Ray Penelope. Joshua's life may have ended prematurely, but his soul will live on through the internet with the power of movements like this one. Ava Charles offered one last comment. I won't sleep until we get justice, and I know he won't either. Check up on LM13 for more coverage on the Joshua Charles case as it happens. I don't like reading stories like that. They make me sad. Yeah, reasonably so. That's fucked up. Well, he's back and trying to kill you now, so you should be sad. You saying that is really disrespectful to the actual person who died IRL and is now being used for a spam message. And even if the stuff is real, I don't have anyone to send it to. Yeah. True. Okay, sorry. I'm coming. Grandma, if you're trying to mess with me too, then I'll be really, really sad, you know. I don't like this. Or maybe you're scared over that email you got. Whatever it was, it's okay to be scared of it, because sometimes even dumb things can be scary.
I'm gonna turn on the light, okay? Oh. F That's creepy. That's real creepy. I didn't like that. I don't think 911's gonna help you, Petra. If they don't answer, I'm, I'm, that's over. Pick up, pick up. Why won't anyone answer me? No. Please call 999 for me. You need to send the messages, just fucking do it. I sent it 10 minutes ago, you still have time. It's just control C, control V. Okay, I'll do it. I'm sorry, please leave me alone. Please work, Paige, please work. Shit, alright, do I actually have to do this? Is this like a timed thing? What am I trying to do? Do I need to add more people? How many friends do I have? Nine? I can add more people. Alright, well, here we go. I don't even have that many friends. God damn it. Fucking spam mail. I hate spam mail. Add me. Doesn't matter at this point. It's life or death. You don't add me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. Free Wi-Fi everywhere you go. Hold up. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, you can see it this time. That's not gonna stop him. I'm going to die. Yeah, seems like it. Just add more people, you can do it. Yeah, I don't think I can, but... If I, if I only have five minutes, that's if people add me back in time. He's out the window. I'm sorry. Do I have to, like, actually add people strategically? Ten? Really? Only ten? Oh, God. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to try and add people strategically, then. Stop knocking on my- Oh! I can't do a girl scream. I'm- Dude, I'm so fucked. Chelsea, some awful things are happening. The chain message was real. I don't have any other options. Something was in Miss Relish's room, and I don't know what- it, And I don't know what happened to her. I can't remember if I even saw her in there. It was so quick. If I die, please don't be mad at me. You have enough people to send this to, so you'll be okay. That's over. That's only one. You need to send it to 15. Oh, that's horrifying. Thanks. Thanks for that. Really nice of you. Why? Why would you do that? I'm sorry, if I had more friends, I would have sent it. What did she do to deserve that? That's really fucked up. Please, why are you doing this? Now, if I send you the message, does that count? Or can I still send friend requests? No, okay. Was the ch was that chain message was that chain message really what happened to you? I'm sorry about what happened to you, Josh. I'm so sorry. I can't believe people would be so awful like that. Mean teenagers. Yeah, being a teen fucking sucks. It really does. I don't have that many friends too. But what happened to you is so much worse. I don't really have bullies since most people at school just act like I'm not there. That's how it was for me. Man, I don't want Patrick to die. She's a good character. This is a good way to make sure you aren't ignored, huh? This is gonna be sad. This is gonna be more sad than it's gonna be scary. I don't even know if you're reading this. But I hope you are, because I'm too scared to talk. That's kind of the nice thing about the internet. Yeah, fair enough. 
Do you want people like me to also go through what you went through? I don't think Miss Relish should have. I don't either. She didn't deserve that shit, man. Does that count as the death then? Or did she also get the message? Did Oh, she got the message from him. That's what it was. He sent it to her. You son of a bitch. I noticed the ad is just scary now, too. The end is near. Click here. Yeah, the end's closer than you think, advertisement. Then doing this probably doesn't make you feel great either. Shit. This is making me more sad than it is scared. If you really did try to host a party before they killed you, then I'm proud of you. I'd never try to do something like that, so it's cool that you were trying to make friends, IRL. Even if it went horribly wrong. Did you also have any online friends? I know you're here. We should... We should talk about this, okay? Yeah. I know I'm wasting time right now. I should be sending the chain messages. But I think we have some stuff in common. And maybe you want to talk. Maybe? Everyone wants that, right? At least Miss Relish wasn't completely alone when you got to her. And I guess I'm not either. I'll send your messages now, okay? Man, I probably have like two seconds left, so if you can give me a sec, that would be epic. That would indeed be epic. Thanks for the chat. Send him the chain message. I'll be quick with these messages. Sorry, internet friends. Do I actually have to, like, go through my friends list and send this message now? We'll send it back to him. Dude deserves it if he sent it to me. Sorry, coleslaw lady. I'm so sorry. Please listen to it. I might die. I hope this isn't actually timed. Rip Sakura Bloom. Sorry for the spam, but listen to it. I'm serious. I don't have enough friends. I didn't add enough people. This guy deserves it. This guy will get a kick out of it. I didn't think this was real at first, but it is. Please trust me. I'm going to run out of friends, dude. I wonder if there is a way to get enough people to add you back. This is humiliating. Please listen to it so you don't have to do this too. Message me when you send it to people so I know you're okay, please. But I don't have enough. Yeah. It's, it's just hopeless. Maybe, maybe I still have a chance to get more. Oh God. If anyone died from this because of me, I'd feel so guilty, so please send it. Josh, I tried to find people, but I didn't get enough. I tried, okay? Am I, am I a bad friend for sending Chelsea your message? Or do you think she would do the same thing to me? Oh my gosh. You're typing. I was starting to think I really was alone. Oh. Man. That was really good. But really depressing. That wasn't even scary. I'm just sad after playing that. I wonder if there's a good end. Fuck. That was really good. Phenomenal job from the game dev for that. The style was really, really well done. Especially since it said one person made this at the beginning. 
I'll link the game in the description below if you want to check this out for yourself. Um, I highly, highly recommend. This was phenomenal. Just depressing. Like, it wasn't really jump out of my skin scary. It was more just, like, really bleak and depressing. And, you know, I'll use this opportunity again to say it's okay to not have a whole lot of friends. I mean, I, I guess that's kind of adjacent to the point of the game. But it's okay to not have a whole ton of people in your circle. It's okay to be a bit alone. You know, I was. Like, I didn't have any friends when I was in school. Like, I didn't talk to anyone. I was completely... I was like the invisible kid. You know what I mean? Everybody forgot I existed, and... You know, that's okay. Just as long as you find something to make you happy. You know, that's what life's all about. You gotta, you gotta go through it, and you gotta find something that will make you feel fulfilled and feel happy. That doesn't necessarily need to be friendship, and it doesn't necessarily need to be... You know, having a huge circle of people, you can have one or two really close friends or no friends at all and still be fulfilled and still be happy. I've been there. I've, I've done that. I mean, if there's one thing to take away from this video, especially if you made it this far, it's that I think it's okay to just be yourself. If you as a person isn't popular, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to be. You don't have to be, you know, the star of your school or the star of your college or your work, or wherever you're at. You know, you can be invisible. Just make sure when you go home or when you get to that point where, you know, you're laying in bed at night, you're, you're happy. You're doing something that makes you feel, like, fulfilled. That makes you feel like you're doing the right thing. That's really what life's all about. Because at the end of the day, having a big social circle or being the popular kid in class, it really doesn't, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you did it all with a smile on your face. So, go through life happy. And thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this game was phenomenal. I fucking loved the style. The writing was really good. It really felt like it was from the time it came from, which, well, it didn't come from 2006, but it really felt like 2006, which is really cool. And I hope you enjoyed the end of my spooky week. It went on a little longer than planned because I needed a video for this weekend that would be kind of quick. So, but I still don't have an outro. And that's where the video was supposed to end. I had full intentions of ending it there, but it's been about a day since I recorded that, and it's been on my mind since then, which is really a test to how good of a game this was and how much it kind of stuck with me in the moment. So I couldn't live with that ending. I wasn't happy with it. I thought there had to be some sort of a good ending. So I did a little research, and I have comprised a list of the names of people you have to add in order to get the good ending. If this works, you'll see it. If it doesn't, you won't. So let's cut to that moment, if it worked. Well, if you're seeing this, it worked. So just cut to the fucking, cut to the ending. All right, so for those of you who are curious, we need to add 14 people in total. Chelsea counts as one of them, so that makes 15 to meet the quota. So we'll go to the friend finder page. The first one listed is Marcel D20. As far as I know, there's no specific indicator as to why you need to add these people, but the next one listed is chess underscore P. It may actually be just the people who are online. The next one listed is LCL Scene Queen. So we need to add Smiley Dog next, which is this one. Then we get the knock where we can't add more people. Okay, now I'll be back when we can add more people. All right, the next part where you're going to be adding people after uh, Petra leaves should be Sakura Bloom, just floating. You know, what's fucked up about this is I actually almost had all these people by the names of them. Dark Mood, Ty. I think they were down here, yep. Gary Steadman, Girl of God, I think she was towards the bottom somewhere, there she is, Girl of God, and that leaves four more, which we'll be in the closet for, so see you then. Alright, and now we're at the point where he's uh, trying to get in, so we need to add Martha Webb 34 
Let me see if I can find her. I hope this isn't timed, because... I'm gonna be fine. This is gonna be a big waste of time if it's timed. There she is. Miss Coleslaw. Music Miles. Where are you, Music Miles? You son of a bitch. There he is. Fangirl00. Zero zero. And for the lols. And that should be everyone you have to add. If there's any new dialogue or anything, I'll do my best to include it, but I don't want this to be too redundant, so bingo, at this point I have 15 friends. Well, I guess Cass is one of them, so maybe that doesn't count. But here's a little brief through the friends list. That's weird. That's different. I don't remember seeing him creep up behind me like that. 16. Bingo. All right. So this, this is everyone. For the lols, Fangirl00, Music Miles, Martha Webb, 34, Girl of God, Gary Stedman, Ty, Dark Mood, Just Floating, Soccer, Bloom, Smiley Dog, LCL, Scene Queen, Chess P, Marcel D20, Friendly Cast, Goblet of Fire. That's what your friend list should look like at this point. If you're following this like a tutorial for some reason, I guess it's kind of both. A little bit of let's play, a little bit of tutorial. All right, now we're at the part where we're gonna send the messages. Nothing was new up to this point, that or nothing, nothing I didn't show. So I hope it lets me, or I hope this isn't actually timed. So there's the chainmail message. I'm so sorry. Please listen to it. I might die. And then we're gonna have to do this 15 times. Sorry for the spam, but listen to it. I'm serious. I don't think those are new. I didn't think this was real at first, but it is. Please trust me. This is humiliating. Please listen to it so you don't have to do this too. Message me when you send it to people so I know you're okay, please. And I think that's as far as I got. I might be wrong. If anyone died from this because of me, I'd feel so guilty. Please send it. I was caring for a nice old lady, and I think she was sent this too, and now she's gone. So that's as far as I got. I might be next, so if you don't want that, please send it. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. It's so hot in here, please listen to this. I'm trying to min-max this as fast as I can. Maybe we would have been friends if I wasn't messaging you for this. Message me as soon as you see this so we can talk about what to do. Don't waste time like I did, okay? It's not worth waiting to see if it's real. I'm cutting this way too close, please don't be like me. And there we go, we did it. Thank you so much for accepting my request. That's everyone, isn't it? That's everyone. 15 people. Is it all okay now? Is that it? Did we do it? Uh... Are you... Are you still there? I sent your message. I hope that's good enough. He's still there. If you still want to talk, we... Oh shit, he actually left. Just add more people, you can do it. It's been 15 minutes. You're okay, right? I don't know. All right, and there it is. There is the end of the game. The good end. The one where we survive, at least. Phenomenal game. Absolutely incredible. I really enjoyed it. It stuck with me so hard that I actually had to come back, tack something on, and get the good ending, because it was really bothering me, that bad ending. So... Sorry if this is a way longer video, and uh, I'll leave timestamps in the description to, um, you know, because the way I'm going to format this and everything will be kind of like a tutorial if people want to play this for themselves, which I highly recommend you do. It's well worth the experience. And thank you for watching. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed. Again, sorry if this is a longer video. I think it was well worth it for this game and this experience. And I still don't have an outro.